So right here I'm just showing how to you know, isolate um, culture to next gen. Basically I'm sampling a sector, it's called sectoring um, mycelium. And right here I have a, a Ganoderma aplanatum petri dish uh, on PDA potato dextrose agar. And uh, you know I have it you know, labeled by gen, clone, and date. And so, yeah, let's have a go. Uh, the way this uh, happens, or excuse me, the, the methods required for sampling, uh, typically flame your, your tool. In this case, I'm using an inoculation loop. It's a steel tip, uh, you know, loop. Um, this, this whole region is pretty much just metal, so um, it can flame fairly easily, convex it, convex the flame, or the heat rather. And uh, I'm going to use what's called a clamshell method of opening the petri dish. Um, this is done by pinching the petri dish with your thumb on the top edge, or the top part of the dish, and your pinky at the, at the base, and then kind of holding it like a CD with your, um, with your pointer finger at the at kind of like the crease there between the top and the base. And so I open it like a Pac-Man or so. I'm kind of pointing it towards the flow hood and I make a selection that I want from here. So in this case, I'm gonna cut this wedge. Uh, typically I try not to hit them on the edge of the dish like that so you know with my dishes I just like to try again if I don't like it you trying about contamination from the edge of the dish you could you could pick up spores kind of like strangling spores there because it's not on the sterile mycelium surface so I picked off a nice wedge there doesn't have to be too big you know A little tiny sample, a couple centimeters in size, in diameter size is fine. Even I like to bore a hole whenever sampling because it gives it more surface area to kind of grab. And uh, voila, that's the, the sample dish. Um, and again, uh, one thing I forgot to mention: you, you make sure you label your dishes first on the bottom. Um, I prefer to label them on the bottom so that I can watch my ceiling grow on, on the top surface. Um, that's very important for just you know visual identification and as well as just kind of keeping it a consistent um, uh, labeling method. Um, and you know make and yeah make sure you get the generation number, the date, your initials so you know whose it is and um, you know who isolated it and I'd say um, in this case G. aplanatum is a species or Ganoderma aplanatum and uh, I'm just flaming the needle right here that's the final step. Um, after this uh, we usually parafilm. Uh, you want to parafilm the, the petri dish. I'm going to show that in a second. Uh, these are these are uh, pre-sprayed. Uh, I sprayed them with Lysol uh, right here. This is just a, a, a sterile, sterility chemical. Um, it's, it's an aerosol for sterility purposes. You spray it on there, and uh, it kills off kind of the extraneous bacteria and spores, molds, stuff like that and this, this should be your final product. You know, I, what I did to parafilm, I just kind of pinched down the parafilm and just kind of spread it around, stretched it around, and then just nicely, you know, laid it down, and then, you know, just stretched it back around to kind of keep it even, so, you know, you, you kind of do that by feel. And uh, this will be a sample, how to sample a dish.
we'll get this. Yep, and uh, that will be the final product. Uh, dishes that look like this, or it'll look a lot like it's uh, uh, it's first gen strain. So yeah, thank you.